Okay, we're gonna do a race between the Flyers and the RB65, the RB655 Max rebar tire. It has a 9.6 volt, 3.3 amp hour battery on it. And these are Klein Flyers, that are spring loaded flyers. <laughs> we're, we're gonna have a race and what we're gonna do is we've got we got this bar that isn't tied except on the very end. We got this one that isn't tied except on the very end. And then I got this one and this one. So what we're gonna do is he's gonna take two of these bars and tie every other we're going every other rebar and he's going to tie that every other rebar on each one so we're crossing them so this one will be tied and then he'll go on a diagonal and tie this one and then this one and then this one etc same with the pliers we'll do that on this side so he's going to take two bars and i'm going to take two bars with the pliers and we're going to race to the end of this 20 foot piece of rebar Where are you at? Those two? Do those two right there? Okay, this one's tied so we can tie this one. No, back here. Okay, so this is tied. Right here. Okay, so he's going to start here. I'm going to start on this one and I'm going to go this way and he's going to be going like that. So, mark, get set, go. <laughs> His gun's off. I'm gonna get ahead. Ha. <laughs> 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 Oh, he won me. Got his finish line. Look at that, I'm way off my mark. Okay. So the tire gun's barely faster. <laughs> no, he got jammed up to where his, his gun wasn't, the switch was in the off position when we started, so. Anyway, he still beat me, so I guess that's a good enough reason to buy one of those guns. I lost last time and that wasn't shameful enough, so I guess is what he's going to do is he wanted to reset this up and do it again where his gun was on this time and I didn't get ahead. So he's, he's thinking he's just going to waste me. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to try this again. See how far behind I get. Okay, are you ready this time? <laughs> Which one? Do you want to just okay. do this bar? We yeah, let's just tie, tie this one. Just go from right here on an angle like that. Let's start on this one. Okay, mark, get set, go. Done, huh? I only got ten more to go. 
It's embarrassing. Wimpy little old machine, deep. So it was about twice as fast. Plus, I don't know if I could tie wire that fast all day. You'd get worn out pretty fast. So these things are expensive. They're like 2,500 bucks a piece. But anyway, so we'll see what happens here. I figured if I if they beat me on this thing, then we'd be getting another, getting a machine to do this instead of by hand all the time. It is faster, a lot better. Speed up your job sites. There's a lot of reasons to buy one. Long term it pay for itself. You do have to buy those weird little rolls of wire. If you buy these instead of just a regular old roll of wire, you have to get a special roll for it. Which ain't too big of a deal. It's a smaller roll than what you can just buy. To, but you know, we just rented this machine to try this out and see if it was worth buying one. Okay, here's my wire twist. Did about a full turn on that one. Did a full turn on that one. One full turn on that one. Now here's what the machine does. It's got a full twist like that. It twisted it a whole bunch of times. That's what the machine does in comparison to tying it by hand. See, it kind of got that one pretty loose. It's not just super tight. That one's quite loose. This one's pretty tight. Anyway, so that's sometimes it'll be a big old long one like that. But anyway, so these ones are like half a turn, they could come loose. I was just hurrying. But anyway, there you go. Half pliers versus versus a tie wire gun.